Hey there, I decided to um, go outside quickly and have a little look. It's um, very cold and, and snowy and um, the weather hasn't been very nice this um, this month so far. So um, I wanted to show off what the garden is looking like. First I want my warm jacket on and I'm just going to put on my boots as well and see what it looks like. So we're also obviously hoping that once the spring comes um, and the ground thaws that we'll be able to start planting more things in our garden. Sorry the light is really bright. We did have some boxwoods that were planted over here for us and this atlas blue cedar is obviously good for this type of weather and then we had a couple of perennials there were some it's a coneflower another plant I didn't know and then this variegated shrub which seemed to be looking okay over here these little guys shame look at them these are my aliens and my irises well, these are the aliens, I think, and those are the irises that are coming up. I hope they'll be okay. Maybe the snow will protect them, keep them alright. There's our broken tree. It got damaged in the snowstorm we had in October. We stuck them back together with duct tape. I think people thought we were crazy. That he'll pull through. So you had to chop him at the top. Shame, he was so pretty. Hmm. We've got some kind of prairie grass here, which I'd cut. Maybe I shouldn't have, it was maybe too early to do that. And then some kind of cypress or juniper. And then these amazing plants, which are always green, they kind of have like a reddish color to their leaves but they're like winter winter flowers and then this poor heart this is our, my wagila that I planted on my mother's gardening day in September and then over here is a little smoke bush which also didn't look like she was doing too well but we hope for the best and then underneath here are some chrysanthemums or people call them mums here I just cut them down so they're just stalks at the moment so I don't know if they come out if they don't I'm not too worried about that and then under the snow here which you can't see are some hens and chicks which is like a nice um, succulent ground cover and then we've got our little angel here which I also put down on the my mom's gardening day. Here's our DIY project. It's to cover the, the tap from freezing. <laughs> it's a paper plate with two layers of bubble wrap to protect it. Obviously taped well into place. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I was just walking down this um, alleyway here to the back of our yard. Here's our backyard. We had some seeds here for the birds because I saw them flying around here. Shame, poor guys. Lots of wooden planks here which have to still be used to put up as scaffolding to where our retaining walls will go so this is our first level 
which will be level until it'll be leveled from this point where the patio ends all the way until the end there over here this area over here will be grass and then this little patch will be cement because that'll be a walkway that'll lead to some steps which will take you to the second level the second level um, will all have concrete over here and then the pool which they're still busy with and then on the far side of the pool on the second level sorry I think it will be grass and another set of steps which will take you back up to the first level and that'll also um, be grass on the far side we'll have some cement here because we plan on probably doing like a deck or something if we would follow what would be a path here So now I would be on the second level. Here's the pool. We've got all the pipes there for the drainage that they're going to put in. This is some of the scaffolding that they've put in already, which is what they'll fill with the brick and the cement to make the retaining wall. Um, then this area here, there'll be a little planter against the fence here, and then everything else will be all cement. Um, then this will be another little step down over here to take you to the third and final level and this will probably all be grass and we'll meet up with this tree line we will have a palisade fence and from that corner up the side like the perimeter to our neighbor we'll have a wooden fence which will be similar to this one over here so there's big mounds of soil here because they're going to use a lot of it to level um, the top level and then maybe the bottom level as well there's a lot of soil in the back here that needs to be dug out because it's kind of filling the drainage area that should not be having any soil in it yeah so it is a big work in progress but I think when it's it's gonna look really nice and it's cold outside but it's not, not bad but it is nice to have this reminder for next year when or for spring and summer when I'm planting trees that I remember I need to plant something that's hardy and structurally strong that's the house, the patio, we came down this side um, we're now on the bottom floor or the bottom level what I want to do in this corner over here so basically the furthest corner from the patio this edge over here is I want to put in a little vegetable patch. I still have to see with the sun whether that would be a good idea, like whether it would get adequate sun. Um, but I'm thinking maybe some raised beds, or at least raised beds, um, but at least start with uh, maybe some herbs, because I like cooking with herbs, and maybe having like root vegetables like onions and, and carrots, because I like cooking with those. Um, yeah, so then up here, like I said earlier, <clears throat> there would be another set of steps up here. This will be the pool pump area. That's our progress so far. Don't have much of a garden, but it's gonna get there. I'm really excited. I think it'll, it'll take a long time to process and to work into, um, like make it into something beautiful, but I think that's part of the fun learning and um, just seeing how it goes. Okay, so thanks, I'm Frieza. I'm going to go inside. Bye.